part B, you has to find G of F of 2 using the graph. So I would rewrite that as G of F of 2. And the bottom graph is F of X. So first find F of 2. What is the Y value when X is 2? Well, when X is 2, Y is negative 1. So now find G of negative 1. G of negative 1 is the line. When X is negative 1, Y is negative 1. So B would be negative 1. Alright. I'll go ahead and work C. Is G of G of 0. I always rewrite it. That's G of G of 0. So look at graph G, which is a line. And when X is 0, X is 0 here. Let me change colors. What is the Y value? Well, it's 1. So now find G of 1. So when uh, X is 1, I didn't really look at that value. Let me look. It's 3. 1, 3. So G of 1, that's when X is 1, the Y value is 3. All right, I'm now gonna skip down to E. And E is F of G of F of three. And I just went on and rewrote it because I'm running out of room. So F of three. So when X is three, what is Y? Y is zero. So that's f of g of 0. Now look, g of 0. Look at your graph g, which is a line. When x is 0, what is y? It's 1. So now we want to find f of 1. So now go back down to your parabola. When the x value is 1, when the x value is 1, I'm looking back at the graph, it's negative 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. It's that point right there. So let me say that again. When x is 1, the y value is negative 4. So that's E. And I guess I can erase some. And I'll work the last one. I'm having a problem with my eraser. Okay. So now... F is G of, let me erase that, hold on. F is what? I'm going to go ahead and rewrite it. F is G of F of G of 0. All right, have you got the hang of it now? So what we want to do is find G of 0. So G of zero is one right here. So G of F of one. Now look at your graph F where X is one. What is Y? One, two, three, four, negative four. Now look at your graph G of negative, uh, G of negative four. I've got to look at my graph again. I didn't put, I'm looking at the one on the screen. When X is negative four on your line, your y value is negative 7.